Okay, hi guys, um, thanks for the ad. Okay, basically I'm just making a video because I can't be asked typing it. Now, it's just my experiences with the condition that I'm having specifically. Now, the doctor has told me that it's kind of a form of motor neuron that developed in my mum's womb. Um, so, okay, I'll start. Okay, I'm 27 now. So I started getting symptoms when I was 24. Uh, basically, I was walking downstairs and I fell pretty much basically down the stairs. And me and my family, we kind of never thought anything of it. And then <clears throat> that's when things started to get worse. So my left foot basically inverts. So say this is my left foot, it would basically turn on itself. So I'll just quickly show you. So my foot here basically turns like that in on itself. So I've actually developed a lump on the side here where I've got constant pressure. So my foot just constantly wants to turn in on itself and I constantly feel it fighting. So if I'm lying in bed and I'm just trying to relax, it's just constantly trying to turn in on itself. So that's my foot. Also my knee doesn't bend. So when I'm walking downstairs, I mainly fall all the time. I've actually got a leg brace. I've been back and forth to the RH in Paisley. Uh, to get one specifically made and the first one was cast when my foot was inverted and they didn't notice so it was causing me a lot of pain so I then went and got it recast but the guy that recast it basically he was having the same trouble so they had to do it on the computer and um, it's still not right so it's getting sent away again so this has been a period of five months of trying to get this brace correct so anyway as well as my foot, also I can't open this hand fully as well. Um, and even if I try, I can get it a wee bit, but not that far. So that's as far as I can get it over. So I was in hospital as well for eight days to try and track down exactly what it is I've got. Because my mum had the exact same thing. Um, both her hands started to go and both her feet started to go inverted and uh, she ended up in a wheelchair. She then ended up losing her speech and she ended up having trouble with her swallowing and stuff which eventually killed her because she ended up choking on a bit of food. So the doctor thinks it's not as progressive as more, like full motor neuron disease. It's kind of less progressive because it started when I was 24 and it's to progress every year. So anyway, back to the hospital visit for eight days. Basically, I got brain scans, MRI scans, spinal scans, uh, loads of blood taken, uh, lumbar puncture, which was okay at the time, but then it just made me really ill after it. Um, so I got all these tests done, and then basically everything came back and conclusive, everything was fine. Nothing was showing up, so I was then getting blood sent to labs and all that came back clear as well. Um, and I'm a bit annoyed at my neurologist because basically all the results that have came back, I've had to find out the results for myself by going to GP about other things and he's went, oh by the way, results are in and stuff like that, so they've not really try to get the bottom of this because it's like a new disease they're all kind of stumped at what it is i've got and the they've not really been great on trying to yeah they've done all the tests but they've not been really trying to kind of the blood ended up getting lost and some of the tests never get done and stuff so I'm a bit pissed off that he's then not contacted me to say, look, this results come back clear as well, come back in and we'll do more tests or do more bloods or whatever. And one of the tests that was horrible that I hated was the um, electric testing. So they put like kind of prongs on like your nerve endings and then they zap you with electric current, which is <laughs> it's horrible. He wants me to do it again at some point, but the results showed that my left and right side have problems with my nerves, but the right is just sitting dormant. So I went back to the GP just to ask him about the lump in the side of my foot. And he subscribed me these. Uh, 
baroclofen and it's basically a muscle relaxant um, and it helps pain um, so he thinks that might help my inversion and help my hand but I've also got myself like a personal trainer sort of thing to kind of try and she put me on a machine and my left side has got more fat than muscle but my right side's got more fat than muscle so that's kind of one of the reasons like my knee doesn't work and I can't open my hand it's like um, muscle wastage and stuff um, so I've also got problems with my eyes as well sometimes they get really blurry and um, my foot also spasms as well so if I try and twist my foot out and then bend my toes down yeah, it'll just start shaking like mad um, so yeah that's just my experiences and kind of what I've been told so it's a form of motor neuron disease that he thinks that's developed in my mum's womb so anyway thanks guys